So I'm lucky enough here, we've got a few good heads here today and uh, we're really blessed to have a, a heap of mad riders and hip hop uh, promoters and graffiti artists in the place. I've got Dallas Days uh, from uh, Sydney here and uh, we're going to have a chat to him. We we'll started off bro, what about these spray cans, you know anything about these? What do you reckon you used touch us before? These ones here bro. These ones here. You use those? Yeah, I used to like the uh, pushback ones when they had the red label. Okay. Which oh, no, I think this is an older version of it. Yeah. But uh, I don't think the boys have got any of them. My go-to nowadays, definitely the 94s. Okay, why? Uh, basically, the UV fucking... They've got the UV protectant in them. Okay. Yeah, there's a mi middle sort of valve nozzle. Okay. They're easy to control. Okay. You can throw a fat cap out on them. Yeah. They'll go super large, but I do a lot of portraiture work. I do a lot of commercial work. These are my go-to. Yeah, okay. They also put a vanilla essence okay. in the composition, the way they make them, so they don't smell okay. as noxious. Yeah, okay. And um, yeah, they're, they're definitely my go-to. Okay, is there anything particularly there, other brands that you see there that mean anything to you? Well, definitely Iron Lake needs a shout out. There's a couple of Iron Lakes in there. Um, it's an Australian brand. You've okay. always got to, you know, support the brothers. Yeah. You've got to support Australian, bro. And you'd be, you know, yourself, uh, and like I said, I mentioned the tag, and some of you guys <clears throat> might do some fucking, you know, do your maths, you know what I mean? But uh, this is Days, and uh, he's been riding for quite some years. And when did you start, mate? And tell us a bit about your history. And, uh, oh, a bit of my history, bro, is I come from inner city Sydney. Um, I'm talking. 86 through 87, I was looking at graffiti. Nice. Yeah. And then um, I started actually tagging in 88. Okay. Um, in it's Sydney. always been days? Uh... No, I, I ran DAC. Okay. Actually, a lot of people don't know that. A couple of, one of your boys knows it. Um, one of the KOC men who I first met in Sydney who originally started in Gosford. Yeah. He, he knew me as DAC back in the day. And then uh, I actually got, didn't get charged for it, but they got aware of that. Okay. So I switched it up to days. Okay. Um, but yeah, bro, I, 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 I think my bombing career definitely started in 88. And who did you, what, what, what career did you put up nowadays, mate? What's your, your what, well, what my do you run with for you boys? I'm obviously here with it. Yeah, so I, 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 through, think, I, I, I think we're, we're older and better now, Bill. And um, I think we run with uh, an adult mindset where we know the heritage of where we come from. Yeah, well, and, I, and I don't think I run with a crew. But the crew I give respects to yeah, are yeah, fucking. You got KOC, you got RBS, you got IBS. Um, my crew's DCA. Which, DCA, uh, yeah. and that's the that's the letters that are skipping in your head. You know what I mean? So that's been my fire. And you you specialise particularly in uh, what? Uh, you, you, I mean, obviously I'm known for your styles. You know, with, uh, with, the, with the graffiti work, but you say you're doing um, you know, mural work or something. Oh, you do the lot, do the lot. Yeah. Do you sign rider by trade or something? Sign rider by trade. Sign rider train. What's that through graffiti that got you in the sign rider? That's exactly Fantastic. right, bro. Fantastic. So you did your trade and yeah, you studied yeah. that. I was, I was lucky enough, bro, that I could get a tertiary education. Um, I come from a broken family, but like a lot of us in the hip hop culture, somehow, <clears throat> somehow. I had instilled into me to fucking get, just fucking get educated. Yeah, okay. And, and I was really lucky that, you know, at a very young age, even though I did a lot with sports, I was like, fuck, I'm good at art. Okay. I need to do something that's in the visual realm. And I was super lucky, bro. What do you mean super lucky? Obviously passionate. Super, well, well, so no, no, super so lucky. That would have been super lucky. Passion would have had a lot to do with Super drive. lucky to get that apprenticeship, bro. Okay. In sign writing. Okay, okay. And that's you've been able to use that with your mural work, obviously, and your graffiti work over the yeah. years. It's been yeah. something that you've yeah. utilised. And it's it stepped down to illustration, graphic design Fantastic. work. Um, sign writing nowadays, I don't do too much of it because I think... Under the influence of people like you, bro. Oh, um, too kind, this one. No, no. Um, 
that that wanting to get better at portraits and just and just use the spray can to the best of you can use the spray can so ability, bro. I'm passionate a lot about you know just the fact that you want to better yourself and you want to be the best you can be at your craft. So that yeah, obviously. But that, but that, that but that as well, brother. I'd like to keep not aside, but I've got to pay homage that I come from graffiti. And if it wasn't for yeah. looking up to people like you, right, through you. just just thank your skill base, you. and back at you. And back at you, just just when when you were still up in Brisbane, um, looking at the murals you did, never mind hype on the side, bro. Yeah. Hype was yeah. so important to fucking Sydney yeah. and Australia, bro. Yeah, but you, within bro. those pages, I always looked at the murals you boys yeah. were painting well, thanks, bro. and the rendering, and I'm like fucking. And what are you doing? What's more about you? What's happening? What you got more future plans or anything particular you'd like to say to uh, other than what you said to some of the young folk, young writers out there? Because uh, we haven't got much time left, and this is what well, we may have heaps of time left. But uh, I've been really trying to document as much as I can with the footage I'm trying to get. So if you've got anything you'd like to, to share with young writers or uh, anything that you would like to focus on to say or anything, brother? Thank you, brother. Um, I'd just like to say to younger cats coming up is, number one, know your history. Know your history. I wouldn't be here without the guys we're here tonight with, who were Sydney heads, but then within Australia, looking up to this gentleman. You have to know your history. I know times have changed, technology is different. You have to know your history. And then on side of that, you don't have to be a graffiti gangster. You don't have to be involved in crime. If you just want to be a good artist, you can be a good artist. And if you want to be a spray can technician, you can be a spray can technician. And I follow the history of those guys that have come before me, and I'm very lucky because I wouldn't be here now without looking up to people like Bill. No, but you're too kind, and I did the same too. I've got homage to a lot of writers that I looked up to too so the, the, it, it continues yeah. bro uh, any, any, anything else you'd like to give any, any, any sort of any last words you'd like to, to add and, uh, and well, how can we find you for starters uh, how can well, find you? I'm on Instagram at um, days underscore one underscore DCA as Bill's uh, alluded to I do sign writing I do illustration I do graphic design but my foundation is coming from a graffiti writer and I'm very privileged nowadays that this guy I looked up to no, this God. guy it's that I looked up it's to gone, I can now call a mate and a brother because I did things the right way yeah, well, and that, yeah, and that comes good. from paying homage to those that came before you understand your graffiti history do it the right way. Don't be a fucking bitch about it. Better yourself. Better yourself along the way. But I wouldn't be here. And every time I paint, I pay homage to people oh, like man. this that I looked up to. There's a lot of Sydney heads out here tonight. We're having a send-off for people. I walk with fucking light feet, but with a heavy head. Yeah, word, man. Heavy head, knowing that I've got to do my best for these guys because I couldn't be doing what I'm doing without these dudes coming before me. And that's it. And this that's is it. general, mate. Like, that's it. We got, we're too old for dickheads, mate. You know what I mean? So if you're a dickhead, we're not going to want to know you. You know what I mean? This is a gentleman to another gentleman. And, uh, bro, thank you and God bless. And thank you so much for blessing us tonight. Thank you, my friend. No, no. Thank you, brother. Thank, thank you. Brother. That's huge. Days. Thank you. Days, Thank mate. you. To Thank have you a chat brother. with this gentleman and for him to want my time of day, me as a young fella coming up, this is who I looked at. Keep it real, people. Yeah. Keep it real. I've got a lot of love and respect for this bloke. You know, he's talented and I, I get my mind blown out every time I see something come up from this gentleman. Mate, you're a gentleman and a soldier. Thanks for blessing us tonight. Thank, Thank you, brother. brother. Thanks, Days. Well, there you go, guys. That's uh, that's something there by, uh, like I said, Days and uh, DAYS. Um, you would have seen maybe some of his stuff and some of the early hives and and uh, some of the behaviour he's got into over the years. And um, 
Bob just fried back yourself and getting the blessings from it. And that's what it's about, man. You know, you're not going to get respect if you're going to bridge up and you know think you're all that and fucking come across that way. You got to earn your respect. You got to earn your stripes. You, and you got to give blessings. You got to encourage. You got to. Yeah, don't get ahead of yourself. And as he said, do your maths, do your science, and uh, and you will be in the hip hop culture, blessed with open arms. Blessed with open arms. When you travel, you have places to stay. You'll, you can go anywhere in the world. You're part of a community. And um, they'll bless you with open arms. But no dickheads allowed. <laughs> Peace. That was really cool.